Hey y'all, Megan here again. Thank y'all so much for watching today's video. So on my last video, I actually got a request from someone um, in the comments to make a video about creating stickers. So since I share with y'all things that you create, uh, things that you can create on Canva um, to sell as digital downloads um, or printables, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys in today's video how to create digital stickers with Canva. So if you've never looked at digital stickers or don't even know what it is, um, you can actually make or purchase digital planners for an app called GoodNotes, which is actually right here in this listing. Um, or if you're a Mac user, you can create one, um, a digital planner for Keynote and use that. A lot of people like digital planners instead of the um, paper ones like the Happy Planner or Erin Condren, um, just because you can reuse them if they're undated. And um, digital stickers are, you know, really cute things to have to kind of spruce up your digital planner and make things um, just look a little more aesthetically like cute and pleasing. So like I said, I'm going to show you guys today how to make digital stickers using Canva. So if you like today's video, please, please, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe below and leave any comments you have in the comments section for me. Um, also, if you are using the free version of Canva and you're interested um, in getting a free 30 day trial of Canva Pro, um, then definitely check out the link in my description box below because I do have that. And I also have um, 40 free Etsy listings if you're looking to start a shop soon. So with all that being said, I will go ahead and show you guys how to create some digital stickers. So. Um, I have this Etsy tab opened right here and I already typed in digital stickers up here. Um, if you scroll down, there are so many stickers. It's, it's kind of ridiculous um, how many planner stickers there are. Um, some of these script ones like this, I think those are really cute. Not sure how to make the script ones on Canva. I know you can make them with the Silhouette software, but I'm not going to go into that on this video. So just to make some plain, um, some plain digital planner stickers, kind of like this, or maybe even um, like this one right here. These are really cute too. I will go ahead and go to this Canva tab and I will show you guys how to do this from scratch. So. I've already got Canva pulled up right here. If you are just making digital stickers for a digital planner and you're not planning on printing them out and either having like a Cricut or Silhouette machine cut them out for you, then all you need to do is just create an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Um, now, if you do want something like the Cricut to cut out your stickers, then you might not want to use an eight and a half by 11, but like I said, I will save Cricut and Silhouette and actual like printing and cutting stickers for another video. That's also a very popular thing. Um, so like I said, we'll get back on topic here. <laughs> here is the home screen of Canva. So to create a digital sticker sheet, um, you'll go up here to create a design, custom size, change pixels to inches, and we will just go with a standard letter size. It doesn't really matter what size you make it, um, but if you want to fit multiple stickers on one sheet of paper, then I would recommend going with something like letter size. So after you get this typed in, let's create new design. And this blank sheet comes up. So let's see. Let's give a little example. So these squares right here, those are super easy to make. Um, let's see. Stuff like this is really easy to make, like these little um, bookmark looking things. I don't know what to call them. And these little checklists, those are easy to make too. So I'll show you guys how to do simple stuff like that. So let's go back up here to our untitled design. I'm going to go ahead and name it uh, Canva Test, actually, Test Stickers Canva. And... Let's go ahead and go to the elements tab. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create some squares like this. 
So once you go to elements, type in square, and I will just go with this first little square right here. So you can make these stickers any color you want, but I prefer to kind of have everything with a similar color pattern. So if you can see, this is like tropical, like summer colors. Um, this one's kind of summery too. This one's kind of boho, that's cute. So I'm going to use my brand colors for this YouTube channel and all that stuff. So I'm going to make this blue. I think blue is really nice. So let's see, I'm going to move this over. I don't want to put it up here in, in the top corner. So once I get it in the top corner, I'm just going to use my up and down arrows on my keyboard right here to scoot it over a little bit. And this is really big. I want to fit a lot of stickers on this sheet, so I'm going to make this smaller. And it doesn't matter, honestly, what size you make it, but if you want to fit a lot of stickers on a sheet, then you need to um, not make the stickers huge. Once you import these stickers into GoodNotes, then I'll show you guys how to resize it. So just for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you how to do this. So let's see. So here's a box and I want to actually put um, kind of a transparent white box over this so that if you're using GoodNotes on the iPad, you can write on the sticker. So I'm just going to highlight this blue box and I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to change it to white and I'm going to make it a little bigger. Let me zoom in a little bit. And then I'm going to highlight this blue box and the white box. Um, you can do that by just dragging across those two boxes or you can just manually click both boxes down while holding shift. I'll go up here to position and then center. And I'm actually gonna make this white box slightly bigger. And I'm going to center it again. Actually, it's centered already. Okay, so there's that. So um, I want this to be a little transparent. I don't want it to be like completely white. So I'm going to highlight this white box, and if you go to this checkerboard option, it gives says transparency, and you can change it to zero, 100, anything in between. I think it looks good right here. So I am going to highlight both of these boxes, and I'm going to duplicate it again, and... I'm going to change this blue box to pink and then I'm going to, oops, I'm going to highlight both of these. I'm going to duplicate it and then just drag these over so I have four boxes total. Um, so to duplicate it, if you haven't watched any of my previous videos, all you need to do is highlight whatever you want to duplicate and you can go up here to the duplicate button or you can use the keyboard shortcuts. So on my MacBook, it's Command D. I'm pretty sure on a Windows um, PC laptop, it is gonna be um, Control D, but don't quote me on that because I'm not super familiar with Windows. Anyways, so I want four boxes across here and I, to change the these two boxes, the color of them, just highlight the big colored box. So I wanna change this dark blue, so I'm gonna click the dark blue box and I'm going to hit the light blue, click out of it, and then select this pink box right here and change it to orange. So now I'm going to group each box together so I'm going to highlight each colored box and each transparent white box, and I'm going to group it. You can either highlight them and click this group button up here or use the keyboard shortcuts. 
just to make things quicker for me, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcuts. So now that I've got all these grouped together, I'm going to highlight all four boxes and I'm going to go to position, tidy up, and now they are evenly spaced. So with these boxes, like I said, um, once you import them into GoodNotes, you can put some text on here, make it look cute. You can write some notes on here that might look cute too. So now I'm going to create some checklists. So I'm going to use the same size boxes as these for my um, ombre checklist. I will show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So I am going to, let's see, I'm just going to duplicate this first box right here. And I'm going to scoot it up a little more. Okay. So I'm going to highlight it again and I'm going to hit ungroup right here. And I'm going to delete this transparent box. So I'm going to create like an ombre checklist. So to do that in Canva, actually, we're not going to do that. We're going to um, highlight this box duplicate it and drag it to where it's like evenly spaced out. And I'm going to make it so that it's only partially the size of this big box. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. So let me, I'm going to make a couple of these. I'm just going to duplicate this little box right here. And I'm going to drag the second one directly below this top one right here. And I'm going to go to the transparency tab and do 90. Then I'm going to drag this one, transparency 80. And then I'm going to do 70. And then I'm going to do 60 and then I'm going to do 50. Actually, this looks pretty good. So I'm going to highlight these. I don't think it's actually that looks pretty good. Okay. So if you want to change um, the colors from like blue to a different color, then just highlight all of these boxes. You can just drag it and highlight all the boxes or you can manually hold one down, press shift while you click all these other boxes and it will give you this. So I'm just going to highlight all of these and change it to... To a different color. Okay, so I think this pink looks, well, not pink, but this orange looks good. And I'm going to scoot this over. And then I'm just going to, actually, let me add a cute little heart. So let's do this. And I'm going to change the color to white and make it a lot smaller and then just drag it until it fits within this top box and actually I'm going to make it slightly smaller and yeah so now I'm going to duplicate this heart so there's one two three four five six different ombre shades. So I'm going to make six of these hearts. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So I'm going to drag this one right here and then something really cool. You can click this bottom heart and then hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then click the rest of these hearts. Well, if my computer will cooperate with me, Okay, there we go. So once you get all of the hearts selected, um, make 
before you do this, make sure that the top heart is right here where you want it and the bottom heart is right here too or else this trick won't work. So once you have the bottom and top one in place, select all of these hearts or whatever shape you want to use and go to position and then hit tidy up and then just scoot it over and there's your hearts. So let's see. So now make sure you highlight all of the hearts and all of the ombres and then we're going to duplicate it over here and then we're going to duplicate it again and then we're going to duplicate it another time. So because I chose to change the transparency from 100% to a lighter transparency to get this lighter color, um, you'll notice that it's like actually transparent. Um, a lot of people don't like that transparent, that completely transparent look. So if you wanted to make it not transparent, then you would just have to, hang on, I'll show you in just a second. You would just have to find like a lighter shade. So let's see. So I'm going to highlight all of these and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So we'll move the transparency to a hundred and you'll just have to go up here and do a lighter shade. It just, it takes a long time. So just for the sake of this video, I'm just doing it to where it's like actually transparent instead of not transparent. Um, but to make it not transparent, if that makes sense, then you'll have to just play around with it and ombre it that way. Anyways, I'm going to delete these right here and I'm going to just duplicate this group one more time. And I'm going to change these colors to blue. I'm going to change this one to pink and then this checklist to the dark blue. So now we have these little blank boxes. We have the ombre heart checklist. So now let's make some, some little icons. These little icons are very easy to make and very cute. So in order to make the little circle icons, just go back to the elements tab and up here in the search elements pro, um, you'll go to circle and hit this first little option right here and make it a lot smaller. So how big is this? Okay. That's about as big as I want to make it. So, um, let's see. And then you're just going to duplicate this a few times and you can highlight both of these, duplicate this group and then highlight these one more time. I'm going to highlight all of them once I get these icon stickers made and I'm going to position tidy up and now I'm going to add some little icons to it. So let's see. So for these little icon stickers, um, normally they're not just circles. They have like actual little icon things like this in them. So let's see a popular one are like dumbbells or weights. So go up here to elements and type in weights if you want a dumbbell on these um, and then scoot them over to be centered. And there's that. Let's see, another popular one is like a animal paw. Um, we have lots of cats, so anything animal related, 
is good for me. So anyways, I'm going to make this one with a paw print and then let's see. YouTube. Actually, let's do Instagram. That's a popular one. Basically, you just do this for all of them. If you want to skip through this part, you definitely can. And then let's see. Coffee. Let's see, a cute one for coffee. Let's just go with this one. I don't really like this one, but I just want to show you guys what it looks like when it's completed. So there's that. And then let's see. Let's do this running girl. That one might be cute. And... Then let's do TV. So if you are following along with this video and you don't see all of the elements that I've been using in this one, so like for instance, this TV that I just picked out, um, let me see. You're not going to be able to use it unless you have Canva Pro. Um, if you paid attention to the beginning of this video, um, you will have noticed that I do have a link for Canva Pro for free for 30 days um, in my description box. So if you're not seeing all of these elements, but you would like to use some of them, definitely give Canva Pro a shot for 30 days because it's really useful. Um, I use it all the time for these videos and just for designs in general. Um, anyways... So now that I have all of these little icons right here, I'm going to highlight them and I'm going to duplicate them. And then, let's see, I'm going to duplicate this entire thing again. Okay, so I'm going to, actually, I'm going to highlight this entire row and I'm going to change it from, change the color from pink to blue and I'm going to do the same with these two rows here. Um, let's see, going to make those orange and then make these this light blue color. Okay, so now that we have those, um, I'm actually going to make like little half boxes, so like half the size of these boxes, and I'm going to use some photos from Canva um, to put in them. So I'm going to highlight one of these boxes up here and duplicate it, and... I'm actually going to ungroup this first. So highlight this, ungroup. I'm going to delete this white box right here. And then I'm just going to move it to where it's like a half size box. And then I'm going to duplicate it and move it so that it lines up with the bottom of these icons. Okay. So... What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go over here to photos and I'm going to type in, whoa, not all caps. Okay, flowers. So something like floral to kind of go with this scheme. Um, let's see. I think these flowers look really pretty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this photo up with this top line for the orange box that I just created. And then I'm going to align it with, 
actually let's make this slightly smaller okay so I'm going to align it got to get these roses pictured put in this picture right and make sure that it covers the orange box and now we have a picture of some roses um let's see let's add some more pictures to um let's do pink this might look cute this one might look cute actually that's a little too purple for my color scheme um let's try yeah this one might look cute so I'm gonna make this picture a little smaller and I'm going to just line it up again with this little orange box and there's that and then let's see now all we need to do is highlight both of these pictured boxes duplicate it scoot it over so that it's aligned and now all you need to do is drag one of these pictures over and it's changed now that we've created the boxes so this makes it really easy let's see orange let's add some let's add some cream color to this okay let's try light orange um, let's see Actually, let's try some glitter. Glitter background. Okay. And let's do, let's find a blue picture. Let's do ocean. This might give us some nice colors. Okay. Actually, I still don't like that. This is gonna take a minute. Okay, and I don't like these flowers. Let's do pink flowers and let's just change it. Okay, so there's that. So now we have these little like half boxes. They might not be quite half boxes, but they're cute just as a little addition to your digital planner. Um, so let's see. So let's add some. Banners. OK, so let's pick this banner right here and I'm going to change it to this orange color and I'm going to add some text to it. I'm actually going to change this color and I'm going to put actually I'm going to add a heading because that's how we add text. My brain's not working right now and I'm going to add some kind of calligraphy font and put weekend change the color to white and then I'm going to highlight the text box I'm going to highlight the text box and the banner and I'm going to do position middle and center Okay, so I'm basically going to do this again. I'm just going to duplicate both of these 
and this, and then one more time for the bottom. And I'm just going to change these colors per usual. Let's see. Pink. And then blue. I'm actually going to change weekend to to do. You can put anything you want to in these, but I like to put to do. So I'm just going to duplicate this again and then duplicate this again it doesn't have to be perfect okay and then let's see let's just add a couple of cute little icons so let's do another heart let's do this one but then change the color to pink and then let's add another element let's do coffee again let's change this one to blue let's make it a little smaller and then might be some cute things down here um, let's do leaf and let's change it to blue and let's actually flip it so to flip it horizontally um, you just go up here to flip and then flip horizontally I'm going to make it just a little smaller. And then let's do something right here. Um, let's see, what do we want to put right there? Let's do one of these rainbows, see if we can change the colors. Okay, perfect. So we can change the colors. Let's see, let's change it to pink and then let's change this around. Okay. Okay, so here is our sticker sheet. So since we're going to be using this in the app GoodNotes, um, you will want to save this as a transparent PNG. So in order to save this directly from Canva as a transparent PNG, um, you will need to use Canva Pro for that. Um, the free version of Canva doesn't allow um, any transparent PNGs to be saved. So let me exit out of this. And in order to save it as a transparent PNG, hit download, make sure the file type is PNG, and then hit this transparent background checkbox, and then just hit download. So now I'm going to show you guys how to use these in good notes. So let's see. Once it downloads into, let's see, test stickers Canva. Okay, so if you're using an iPad, then you just need to save it as a transparent PNG on your iPad and then open up GoodNotes. Um, but for this, I'm going to show you how to do it on like a Mac computer. So. It's kind of complicated. Let me see, let me dump this into photos. And then that's actually something I was working on earlier. So let's see. So now that this picture is in my photos, I'm going to exit out of that and I'm going to open up GoodNotes. So 
Good Notes, I think I paid like $10 one time for Good Notes. I know it's not like a monthly recurring thing. And honestly, $10 for Good Notes is like a very good $10 to spend. So if you are, oops, if you are not familiar with Good Notes, um, this is basically what it looks like. You've got a lot of different options up here, but for this video, um, I'm going to show you how to take these stickers, this sticker sheet that we just created from Canva and put it into Good Notes. So once this is saved into your photos on either an iPad or your computer, then open up, let's see, you can just open up a blank sheet, honestly. Um, let's see, open up a new notebook, do blank, or you can open up a new daily planner or a new planner. If you have purchased a planner and you have it in good notes, then you can open up that planner. Let's see. I don't know why this is happening. Okay. I'm trying to get rid of this text up here, but anyways, so to get these sticker sheets into good notes, once it's saved to photos, go up here to image, and then you're going to find the image that you want and put it in here. So once you click on this sticker sheet, you can make it as big as you want or as small as you want, and you can flip it upside down. You can do whatever you want to with it. So I'm going to make it kind of big right now and I'm going to crop. So if you are on an iPad, I cannot remember how to do crop. But if you are on a computer, right click on this picture and hit crop. Once you hit crop, it takes you to this screen where everything has a transparent background. So if you just want this rainbow, or you want all of these um, icons, or you just want this cute little glitter or flower, then you can choose to crop it as a rectangle, or you can do the freehand option. So for this freehand option, I'll show you guys. It's really hard to do on a computer, but I'm going to drag my mouse around that and then hit done. And now you have a cute little rainbow. And you can move it around, put it wherever. Um, and then to get everything else back, then you're just gonna make sure you have this photo option checked and you're just gonna do the same thing. So let's see, I'm going to right click, crop it, and I'm going to do the rectangle and just do this glitter thing right here. Oh, I didn't do a very good job at covering the orange, but just for the sake of this video, it's not too bad. So I'm gonna put remind, I'm gonna put that right there. And you can just honestly play around with it and make it yours. Um, let's see, I'm gonna crop it again. I'm going to put to do up here. Make it a little smaller. And that's it. So it's honestly really easy to make planner sheet. I mean, planner sticker sheets for a digital planner. Now, if you want to get really fancy and make digital stickers that is like 500 stickers or your own like pre-cropped sticker book, I don't know right offhand how to make a sticker book or make like a digital planner. Um, but if you just want to use stickers for yourself or make like a single sheet or like a pack of sheets um, and sell it on Etsy, this is the easiest way to do it. Um, it may take a little playing around to get used to, but I think just for this video and me not really ever making stickers before, this was pretty good. Um, so if you have questions about how to make planners like this, if you have questions about anything in this video or how to import them into GoodNotes or whatever, 
please make sure to leave a comment below because I'm going to do my best job to answer any of the questions that you have. Otherwise, I hope you guys um, learned a lot from this video and stay tuned because I will be talking more about digital planning and how to create stickers um, for the Cricut and the Silhouette soon. So you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see y'all again soon.